All right, guys, so we had some issues with our gun. You guys could see all the runs that we have here. What's up, guys? DIY Savage right here. On this channel, we just learn as we go. Today's episode, we're going to be prepping the car and make sure that we are good with paint. So we're going to throw the primer on there. We're going to throw the sealer on there. We're going to try it a little bit differently than we did with the S5. But lo and behold, I'm still going to show you guys how to mess up when you are painting your car. Future episode for that, let's below or low. So if you guys are new here, thank you guys for being here. Subscribe, share this page, share this post, all this stuff. Help me grow so that I can give these cars away to you guys in the future. That's my dream. That's what I want to do on this channel. guys it is the next day we are ready to prime and we are going to prime the whole door back to about halfway through the quarter panel and then a little bit up through the fender and then we'll feather it out a little bit as well and then we are going to get to painting and sealing and clearing today as well so busy day today so we're going to do one final walk around make sure we didn't miss any tape spots then we're going to do a final wax and grease remove. We're gonna tack it up, and then we're going to hit it with the primer. We're gonna set up the fans, get the exhaust system going in here, and we'll be good with that. So, getting going right now. All right, so anyone who is new here hasn't seen me paint the S5 or the A7, this is what we do here, guys. So we have our air compressor here. We have our line coming out. And what we have here is a bucket of ice water. And what we do with that is we toss this hose inside it. We get super cooled air as it's coming out. Then it goes through the dryer. And then we have the blue line, which is our and that's what we're going to be using to spray. So we just have to submerge that line in there, set us up, and then we'll do our final clean, tack, and be ready for this stuff. All right guys, we are completely taped up. We're good with everything. We are sanded down with everything. So we're good with that as well. We're sanded down to 320 for the primer. Then we are also ready for paint now because we also went through the, we did the wax and grease remover as well. And then we also did a final tack. So we are perfectly smooth, perfectly clean, as clean as we could possibly get in this. So the last thing we have to do is get the exhaust going, get the, hardener and the primer mixed together, throwing in the paint gun, and then we're gonna hit this with a nice layer of primer. Going back to the Nason Select Prime again, worked well for us the last couple times that we painted, so we're gonna be using this again, so we're gonna mix this now.
All right, guys, we did three coats of the primer all around. We did the top coat, the base coat. Um, so we're good with all that now. There's a quick shot of how we're looking. Primed up to there, we're feathered into the edge. Primed up top, feathered into the edges. The entire hood is primed. And then these two bumpers are primed entirely as well. So looking good. Then what we're going to do is we're going to hit the whole thing with base. Then we're going to hit the whole thing with the, um, the clear as well. So we'll feather it out. We'll be good with that. So I'm excited about this, guys. It's coming along pretty good. So I'm going to check in a little bit. But right now, the most important thing is I need to clean up my gun. All right, guys, let's get a quick look at how the primer came out. This is unsanded, so we still have to sand it up with a 400 grit. Looks good here. Looks like we have, might be a little light in the middle, so we'll have to keep that in mind when we're going over it with the paint, but Looks pretty good. Hood looks good. I don't see any spots that I missed, which is really good. And we have the fender. Fender we didn't really touch, but we're gonna be painting that whole thing and feathering out into it. Door, door looks good. You cannot see any of the marks or anything like that that we did. So that's good. See no issues with the door. So I'm happy with that. Looks like brand new. You got this whole fender area, quarter panel, all good. We're gonna blend back into here. We'll be good with that. And lastly, your roof looks good as well. So what we need to do is sand this whole thing down with a, uh, we'll do a 400 for the flat. If you do a metallic, it's like a 600. So uh, we'll stay with the 400 for the for the uh, flat color. And here's the bumper. Here's your front bumper. Front bumper looks pretty good. No issues on the front bumper. Not that I see it anyway. So front bumper looks good and rear bumper. Rear bumper looks okay as well. Don't see any issues with the rear bumper. So we're good with this. Let's get the sanding and making this nice and pretty. All right, guys, we are sanded down to 600 all over the place. We are perfectly smooth, we're really good right now. So we're gonna hit it with the sealer on the bumpers, on the hood, on the door. We're gonna probably do the whole side over here just for a good measure. And then we're just going to feather it out up on the roof and we'll be good, guys. So let's hit this now and we're gonna get to painting.
All right, guys, so we had some issues with our gun. You guys could see all the runs that we have here. Um, extreme bad reactions everywhere. I don't know what happened, but you guys could see all the bubbling and everything here. It's like that throughout the entire bumper. Um, awful, I don't know what happened, I cleaned it. Um, maybe I didn't tack this, I, I thought I did, I don't know. But this one came out good, so we're good with this. So we don't have to redo this, so thankfully. Um, car came out pretty good as well, door, quarter. Coming into the fender and the hood, there are some slight bubbles here. So I'm gonna sand these down as well. Um, got a big something there, I don't know what that is. And lovely, something got caught in the paint here as well. So we're gonna have to sand all this down uh, lightly. But right now we're gonna work on the bumper because this is a train wreck. So we had some issues with the sealer. I don't know what really happened, but I think next time we're gonna wind up getting a better gun so that we don't have any more issues. So we're learning as we go, is what we do here. We make mistakes, not professional. You guys know that if you've been watching the channel. If you guys haven't, make sure you subscribe down below. Also, ring that bell for post notifications, like, comment. Hopefully you guys will be inspired by this. Just pick up a wrench, buy a car, do whatever you need to do. Just try to become a DIY salvage guy yourself.